Do you need a new car key or fob for your Dodge? Well, I've got a solution for you. I'm Mike with Tomahawk DIY, and I want to show you the Simple Key Programmer. It's an easy do-it-yourself solution that'll save a ton of money over the cost of the dealership. Now, this works for Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, some Volkswagen, a whole lot of other vehicles, all listed on our website, tomskey.com, so be sure to check it out and see if your vehicle is there. If you don't see your vehicle, visit the Other Vehicles section and send us your email address so we can let you know as we add more vehicles to our website. Now this Simple Key Programmer is super easy to use. Let me show you how it's done. Before you begin, you want to spend a few minutes looking at the Simple Key User Guide. It's got some important instructions that you want to follow. I'm going to be demonstrating on a 2015 Dodge Grand Caravan. My activation code for the key fob is 312 and the primary dial position is number 3. Some preparation. We found out we need dial position 3. So turn this up to point to number 3. We also want to get our programmer ready by removing this tamper evidence seal. Once you plug this into your vehicle, this programmer will be paired to your VIN number so it can only program key fobs for your particular vehicle. You can program up to 8 fobs for a vehicle with this programmer. For the fob that comes packaged in the kit, you'll need to activate it. If you buy loose fobs, some of those don't require activation. You can tell by the little blue light. In the compatibility lookup, we found 312 is our activation code. So to activate this fob, we're going to push the lock and panic button. That blue light turns on. Then we use the lock button to enter the first digit. One, two, three. We use the panic button to enter the second digit. One. And we use the unlock button to enter the third digit. Two. One, two. After that, press lock and panic, and it will blink the code back to us. One, two, three. Pause. One. Pause. One, two. Okay, it's now activated. Now that we've set our dial position to the appropriate position for our vehicle, in this case number three, and we activated the fob that came in the Simple Key Programmer box, make sure all doors are closed to the vehicle. If it's a hot day, you can roll windows down to keep cool. I recommend you turn off things that draw power like headlights, the fan, the HVAC system, the radio, etc. Be sure the vehicle is turned off in park position and turn on your emergency flashers. Next, you need to insert the original working key and turn the vehicle on. On my original key, I have this tile key finder. You might want to pick one of these up. It pairs to your smartphone and make sure you can always find your keys, even if you leave them somewhere or they get lost. With the original key, turn the engine on. With my engine running, we'll insert the cable to the OBD2 port. To plug this in, look by the brake and gas pedal until you find the OBD2 port and then you simply plug it in. As you insert it, listen for this to beep. You'll hear three quick beeps to let you know it's communicating with the vehicle. There. Now that it's communicated with the vehicle, you can turn the engine off and remove your original working key. Insert the new key and turn the ignition to the run position or the on position, but don't start the engine. This is dial position three. We'll put it in the ignition. It tells me the key's not programmed. I'm going to Turn it to the on position, then push the button on top of the simple key programmer. Did you hear it tone? The car is beeping at us. After it's beeped three times, it's programmed. So remove the new key out of the ignition. Then to continue, press the button on the simple key programmer. And that chime tone lets you know everything's successful. We're going to unplug the programmer, turn the flashers off, and check our key fob. Let's put it in the ignition and start the engine. Just like that. That's how easy this simple key programmer is to make yourself a new fob. Here's the old one. That still starts the engine. So let's make sure the buttons work. Here's the new one. Lock, unlock. Here's the old one. 
It locks. Let's check the panic. That works. Unlock. Okay, both the old and the new remote work just fine. Now, I want to point out, this fob has an extra button, this uh, remote start. Because the original one did not have that feature, that button won't do anything for the vehicle, but the other button should all work just great. So there you have it. You've seen just how easy it is to use this simple key programming kit. This works for lots of different vehicles, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, uh, some Volkswagens. So go check out tomskey.com where you can pick up this simple key programmer and program a new key for your car or truck or van. Super easy. Now we stand by our products with a full money back guarantee. In the instruction manual, there's an 800 number in case you run into any problems during the programming process. But if that still doesn't solve and get this working for your vehicle, no worries. Our full money back guarantee applies. Reach out to us via email, help at tomski.com, and we'll take care of you. Please like this video, leave a comment, let people know how much money you're saving by using the Simple Key Programmer from Tom's Key Company to make a new key fob and remote for your vehicle. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and have a great day.